Hey, welcome back to the shop. No, it's not a uh, blog night tonight. It's Tuesday. No, excuse me. It's Wednesday night, hump day. And today we're going to be working on those uh, trays that Mama wanna have, uh, wants to have done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, biscuit join them together. I think she's going to epox him. So uh, what we're going to do is shoot a little quick uh, video to show you the uh, process of both biscuit joining and hopefully we'll get some epoxy time in there. Y'all stick with us and let's see if we can't get this started. So let's get to uh, using the biscuit joiner. First of all, what you want to do is put your selected boards, put them uh, across. As you can see here, we got a book match set, and we're going to set them just directly across from one another. Once we kind of look and see where we want it, we're going to draw a line here and here. And just make sure our biscuit looks like it's going to work in there, and it does. Next thing to do is take our biscuit joiner, move one piece to the side. And what you're going to do is line up the line you drew with this line here and the line down here. And then it's just simply a matter of squeezing the button, holding the board. Move that piece to the side. Get your corresponding piece. wind up with two little semicircular half moon cuts just like that. And what we want to do is take our biscuits, slide them into the cuts, slide the corresponding pieces together, line them up, up fan squeaking on us a little bit. And there you go. Biscuit join. Now all we need to do is glue her up clamp her together and let her sit overnight. Okay, so now we're ready for our glue up. First we want to make sure we have everything we're going to need. We're going to make sure we got clamps that will fit. We want our brush and of course our glue bot. Uh, I've, in the years past I've used like mustard and whatever leftover containers but this glue bot really can't be beat because you can actually glue without having to turn the bottle upside down so it helps a lot. So what we're going to do is we've got three biscuits for this one and we're going to glue up initially edge glue here get some glue down in these holes we'll just skip these areas they're going to be epoxy make sure we get good glue coverage Don't, don't get points taken off for this if you're not neat because you're going to sand all this up in a little bit. I'll say in a little bit. Probably are you going to sand this tomorrow, Red, when you're going to sand this? Yep. So this will be sanded up tomorrow. Try not to make it too bad on Mom. Alright. Rest that right there on that. We're going to take that little excess glue we've got. We're going to glue up on our piece, slide it down in that hole, make sure it's set fairly centered. There's a little extra glue. Oh. Glue down in that hole. Yeah. Same thing here. Grab this little bit of extra glue. Now, me and Mom usually do this together. She does one side, I do the other, but she did not want to be on camera tonight. So we're going to try to get this glued up all by ourselves here.
Again, we don't get any points off if we're not real neat. Only if you create a lot more extra sanding for me. In which case, I work late tomorrow night. <laughs> Alright, so let's push these together. Take our paper towel. Wipe off a little bit of the excess glue real quick. Make sure our lines are lined up here. Remember those are the lines we initially drew so when we cut the slots into the board with the biscuit joiner we can keep it lined up. Our board feels pretty level. We're going to kind of level up just a little bit. Now from here what we're going to do is take this over to the end of the table and we'll show you that procedure here in just a minute. And we're going to clamp this board down while we pull pressure this way because if we just pull pressure here what's going to do is push this board up. So y'all come back uh, and see how we do the, uh, the full glue up here at the end of the table. Alright, we're going to finish up the glue up on this table that we did the, uh, or excuse me, the uh, tray that we did the uh, uh, biscuit joining on. Again, this is the uh, tray you've seen in the glue up, not necessarily the one that I did the, uh, the actual biscuit joining on. What I like to do is take a little piece of wax paper, or in this case, parchment paper, and I like to come right over the top of the, the crease there, put just a tad bit of pressure. And what this does is pull the board down so when we squeeze it, when we squeeze it this way, it doesn't buckle up. It does not buckle up. So what I'm going to do is come over here roughly about where my biscuit is in the board just start putting a little bit of pressure. Watch the glue squeeze out. Then I'll come here. Same thing, watch that little bit of squeeze out. Try to make sure it's as level as possible. Then I'm going to squeeze down here. And then squeeze in here a little bit. And I think that's pretty good. I'm going to add one more to the center here. just for good measure. It looks like we're pretty flat, pretty level. I don't think we're bowing up any at all. So we'll get in the red and see if it looks like it's bowed up from this side to that side. Does that look pretty level? It does look pretty good. Alright, we got the approval from Mom. I think we're good. We got good squeeze out. We're going to call this glue up good. We're going to move on to the next one. And this over here in just a few minutes, we may get to show you a little bit of epoxy in tonight. Y'all come back and watch us uh, see if we get this epoxy job done tonight. These are the boards that we have previously biscuit jointed and glued together. As you notice, they have some defects. Tonight, we're going to fill them in with some resin. Here's one that's already dried. and We're going to fill in the rest of these defects with some epoxy. Maybe with some different colors and give it a little pop. Supplies you'll need for this project are going to be a two-part epoxy hardener and resin. You also need two cups and a stir stick mixing equal parts of the resin and the hardener. For added bling you can add a little color or maybe a little glitter to make your project sparkle and shine. Equal parts of resin and hardener pouring the thinner hardener into the thicker resin Thoroughly mixing your hardener and your resin together makes for a much nicer. For added pizzazz, add a little color and stir well. For a little bling, add a little glitter and stir well. Make sure you seal your bottom well. Now you can add your epoxy. Just simply pour slowly.